Right there is what we're looking for. That's a nice What's going on? All right, so welcome back to my channel, and today I'm gonna go ahead and cast net mullet and do a little catch and cook with them. So I have my new cast net here. I've never used it before, so hopefully it works pretty good. I just started throwing cast nets, so I don't really know if this is like a good brand or if it's a crappy brand, but we're gonna find out today. We're at my usual mullet spot here where I cast net mullet. Um, usually they're more on the finger mullet side. Okay, so it's a little overcast and it's really windy out here in South Florida and we just had a recent temperature drop so that does affect our fishing a lot and not having the sun out to be able to see the bait kind of sucks but I think I found some right here. A yellow tail okay. there. Um, it's a type of jack, I think. They're really, uh, really crappy bait fish. No good. Those aren't the one there. I caught one of these in the keys actually under the bridge once. Okay, let's feed our friend. Oh, here. You got it. Oh, he did? <laughs> All right. We're gonna put him on ice later. Right now, I'm gonna go see if I can get some more of these because I need more. I can't do it with just one. What is that? How far out? Oh yeah. It's a manatee. Some nice little hogs here. 
At least they'll have a pretty decent sized filet. Let's go ahead and take our bucket of mold here and put them on ice. Man, these three mullet made me work for them. It's overcast, I can't see anything out here. I have, I have no vision. The water is murky, so I just had to wait for the mullet to jump out of the water, and then I quickly throw the net and see what I can get. So I'm happy I caught three at least today. Not gonna lie, I like really wanna use these for bait because they're such good baits. Like, these are like the perfect size mullet for snook, tarpon. All right. being sacrificed to do a catch and cook to see what these babies taste like. All right. Look, aw, they're huddling together because they're cold. All right, next up, the frying pan. Okay, so our molds have been sitting on ice for about 45 minutes now. I went ahead and de-gutted them, so they're nice and de-gutted. And I'm just going to flame up real quick, see what the meat looks like. I'm really curious to see what their fillets are going to look like. They're so scaly. Probably should just scale them. Still. Huh. So I'm kind of surprised. Their meat is very white and it looks very white and flaky. There's scales all over it. You should probably descale them before you fillet them because they're so scaly. But that looks like an awesome piece of fillet there. I might be shocked with the way this tastes, not gonna lie. I mean, fish have to love mullet for a reason, right? You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and descale the last two real quick because the scales are just too much. I can barely cut through the fish with the scales. It's just messing me up, so I'm gonna descale the last two real quick. These mullets are impressing me with their fillets. That does not look bad. I'm actually really excited. This this looks better than the bluefish that I filleted last week. That looks like good meat. It kind of looks like lionfish. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, this is like, it's a pretty easy fish to fillet, but it's a really hard fish to fillet because it's so little and like the first side is easy for me but then when I flip it over and do the other side there's like nothing to hold on to to fillet the little fillet off the other side they're like they're easy to fillet but they're kind of difficult at the same time because they're because they're so small so here is some of our fillets here um, I probably could have gotten more meat off the fish but I kind of sucked it looks really good, not gonna lie. Like I said, it looks better than the bluefish. Their mullet, say goodbye. They are going to be shark food for tomorrow. For these mullet, I actually just wanna really taste like the fish quality of the meat. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter in the pan with uh, some salt and pepper and that's it. Nothing fancy, I'm not like making this a meal or anything. I'm just making this so I could taste what mullet actually tastes like. I've heard of people eating mullet. I've seen it in grocery stores um, for food purposes for people. Um, my grandpa even said that he's like, oh yeah, mullet's great. And I'm like, I've never heard of people eating mullet. Um, but my grandpa's had mullet before and he said it tastes good. So I guess I'll find out. A little bit of butter, a lot of bit of butter. There we go. I have to get down. <laughs> I'm too tall for this. So I have to like stand like this. Okay, seems hot enough. Let's go ahead and lay these in here. It doesn't look bad. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper just to give it some type of flavor so it's not too bland. But like I said, I just want to taste like the quality of the fish, you know? I'm not trying to make this a four course meal or anything. Looks about done. 
That looks done. Okay, so this is what our mullet looks like here. Doesn't look bad at all. Kind of spooked, but honestly, the texture and the color of the meat doesn't really scare me. It's not bad. Hold on. It's really flaky. It's really, it's a light flavor. It's not bad. Honestly, I thought it was going to taste like really fishy, but it doesn't taste fishy at all. I mean, maybe that's the butter, but it doesn't taste fishy at all. It's kind of hot. <laughs> it tastes fine. I wouldn't make like fried, like I would make like fish sticks out of it, fish dip. Um, and if I was stranded on an island and had to eat fish, I would definitely eat mullet. This isn't the worst tasting fish I've ever had. Honestly, this probably would taste better than bluefish seared. It's good. I am so, I'm honestly really surprised. Like, wow. This isn't bad at all. I'm trying to compare the flavor to something, but I I don't know what I would compare it to. It doesn't really, this is really hard to describe right now. Overall, okay. This mullet, it's not a bad tasting fish at all. Now this is saltwater mullet. So I feel like if I was to catch mullet in the freshwater, it might have a fishier ugh, taste to it because freshwater fish just like, I feel like just don't taste as good as saltwater fish. Saltwater mullet does not taste bad. It's good. I would eat it. It wouldn't be my first option. I'm eating it right now and I'm not gagging. I'm not saying it's bad. So not too bad. My grandpa was right. <laughs> Honestly, you could probably make like mullet tacos and they they would be probably really good. So this is really interesting. I've always wanted to try mullet because I mean, we use it for bait all the time and fish slurp down mullet like noodles. Well, that's a wrap on the mullet taste testing and uh, thanks for watching guys. Go ahead and hit a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, hit that notifications bell and uh, I'll see you guys next time.